After uh, after game four uh, of the the Mavs Clippers series, you tweeted out, "Don't try to compare." In reference to Luca, don't try to compare him to others. He's blazing his own path. What what is his ceiling? I mean, we we've talked about him a bunch this week on the pod. What what what's his ceiling? It just depends. It it really depends on can he shoot like JJ Redick or does he shoot like LeBron? Seriously, yeah. you know, because that's a big range. You know, LeBron has got the best basketball IQ in the game, top three basketball IQ in the game. Mark, Mark, I just want to interrupt you. There's only like five or ten people in the history of the game that can shoot like me. Okay, keep going. There we go. Intellectual humility. <laughs> Are we talking basketball? Yeah, we're talking basketball. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, but you, you know what I'm saying, though, right? Because there's certain guys who th- that have got basketball IQ that gives them an edge, right? They're already two chess pieces ahead, and they automatically make their, their teammates better. Luca falls in that category, and he's only 21. And so part of his upside isn't just for himself, but it's the fact that he makes everybody around him better. He knows where a guy is going to be. It's like, you know, you've been, how many times have you been on the court and just busted your ass to get open? Cause that's what you, that's who you are, right? You work and you move and you get open. And then, you know, you don't have a true point guard to get you that ball or get it the right, get it to you, you know, in motion. So you can get a shot off. Luca knows how to do that. And he's got the size, you know, a six, one guy point guard might have quicks, but he's not going to see the whole court or see over everybody. He's got to find passing angles. Luca's got the ability to at six, seven, to, to really see over players and make those passes. And then he's 230, 235. I mean, he's a linebacker. And so he can get the places on courts that give him – on the court that gives him a passing lane. And even if he gets doubled or pressured and there's contact, he can still make plays, whether it's passing or scoring. You know, and I'll, I'll give you one other thing that's really um, relatable in terms of upside – after last season, I was like, Luca, what are you going to add to your game? And I do this with all our guys. And he goes, I need a left hand, right? I need to be able to finish with my left. And because last year, you know, like when you first got into the game and you're going full speed and it's new to have to go that fast and you see rookies all the time in particular going down for a layup, trying to beat somebody down and they put it off of the backboard and it goes 15 feet backwards, right? And he would do that a lot, particularly with his left hand. This year, he's finishing, he's like top three in the NBA in terms of finishing around the basket. That's how hard he worked to try to improve his game. And that's what the great ones do, right? And so if he continues to improve, I mean, there's, there's no limit to what he's going to be able to accomplish if we continue just to put the right pieces around him. 